friends, my name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and I am so excited that you are here doing science with us today. Now if you don't have the printout for today, you gotta make sure you can either subscribe to us at patreon.com slash Rosie Research so you can come to class with us, or you can check out Teachers Pay Teachers Getting Nerdy with Mel and Gertie because this is one of their products. They are amazing, they have really, really cool paper dissection labs. So if you love this one, they have tons of other ones up on Teachers Pay Teachers. So what you're going to need is you're going to need the printout. I printed mine out in color, so I didn't have to color it, but if you love to color it, you could print it out in black and white and then color it, which always helps you learn a little bit more. You need that, you're going to need a pair of scissors and some glue or some tape. I'm going to use some hot glue today just to get it done really fast. So earthworms are amazing creatures, it's springtime coming out. We really need those worms working. They decompose stuff that's died, which helps return nutrients to the ground so that the trees or a vegetable garden can reuse those nutrients to grow. They also help sort of move through that and irrigate that land so that water can flow and that things can pass through really, really well. Earthworms are massively important and we sort of use them to maybe go fishing, maybe com compo decompose our food. We have a compost bin with worms and they eat so much food, it's kind of amazing. So they are really handy little critters and today we are going to take a dive into them without hurting a worm at all. So the first thing we're going to do with this is you are actually going to cut out all of the different pieces of our worm, which I have already done. So I've got my pieces of my worm, and there's two pieces here that you'll notice kind of could line up to each other, and that's because one is going to be the back or the posterior side, and one is going to be the front or the anterior side. So the first thing that you're going to do here, you're going to take these two pieces, you're going to line them up. The way that you'll see it, that they line up is notice this little part right here. Those guys are going to go together just like that, front to back, and we're gonna glue it down. This gives our worm a cool 3D look as we finish. Maybe not a 3D look, but a cool front back view, I guess. All right, so now because we're gonna end up dissecting our worm, we are going to want to be able to cut it open. So this is actually the skin surface of our worm right here. You'll notice these tabs. And what you'll do is you're gonna fold that tab back and underneath itself, pretty much so you can't see it anymore. And now you're gonna put either a little dab of glue or a little tiny piece of tape right here so that part lines up. And then we can pretend cut our worm open. All right, so this is the skin part of our worm right here. Just like that. Zoop. I might have glued it a little bit close. Oops, the back part already fell off or is falling off. Let's add some more glue there. Just like that. All right, so now I can take my worm, I can pretend cut down here, and I can open up my worm. And when I open it up, I can see that there's a long nerve down it because worms can sense their surroundings. They do that through this really long nerve. They also have a brain and they use that brain. They can sight, um, sense light and dark. They can make simple choices. Do I want to go here or do I want to go there? Is it too hot, too cold, too salty, too wet? They can make sort of those choices and they collect their information through that nerve and up into their brain. All right, so the next thing that we're going to put in is their digestive tract. So now worms eat. They eat dead leaves. They might eat our old food and then they're going to put that through their digestive tract. Just like what we have as a digestive tract, they have a long intestine in their digestive tract, and they are going to squeeze stuff through that so that they can take out all the nutrients possible. All right, so I'm going to fold over, there's a little top of this that has the O, and I can put a little tiny dot of glue and then just glue that part down just like that. So I've got my nice little digestive tract with some blood going through it. Now, if my worm has blood, I need to pump some blood for that worm. And interestingly enough, worms don't have hearts like us. They have what's called aortic arches. They look like these big, long sort of bridges or arches that go across our body. They have 10 of them. 
sort of two sets of five, and that pumps the blood through their body. And what we're gonna do is you're going to bring the little tabs that are on the side towards the back, and you're gonna fold them under. They both glue, oops, right here like this, but if you glue them both down, then you can't get that other piece up. So personally, I like to cut one of these guys off like that and just have it so that I can sort of glue it and then I can still open that aortic arch up to see underneath it. All right, I feel like that's really important to me. All right, oops, I might be gluing down my intestinal tract at the same time. Let that glue dry. So this guy's gonna go over the top, just like that. And then our worms do need to reproduce, so they have seminal vesicles that they can let the sperm out into the dirt, and then they can pick it up and make more baby worms. And these guys go like this. They're gonna go on the side pieces of that, and they go right on this R. Again, we're gonna fold those tabs back, and then you can just press it on right where it goes, like that. And we can now dissect our worm. So we can close it all up like this. Doesn't close up perfectly, but it's still pretty cool. And then you can imagine you would have your worm going through, just would cut your worm open, and if you did, you would start to see these things. So you would see these aortic arches in the right area. You would open it up. You would see the intestinal tract. If you were cutting through the intestinal tract, you might see what looks just like dirt, um, that it has taken out all of the nutrients for it. You can see the seminal vesicles. You might, up towards the top, find this really thick, hard muscle that's called the gizzard and that takes the dirt that it's eating and it really crunches it up so that it can really get all those nutrients out because you and I we chew our food we don't just eat a piece of meat and then just expect to be able to get the nutrients out right we chew our food but worms don't have teeth and that's kind of a problem interesting enough neither do birds and like chickens they have those gizzards and the gizzard is this really tough strong muscle that just grinds everything that goes down the neck so that it can extract those nutrients. It's like their way of inventing teeth, which is pretty cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed dissecting this worm with us. Maybe it'll make you look at worms a little differently next time that you're out in the garden, and hopefully we appreciate them and all that they do, decomposing and providing nutrients for us and for the plants that we love. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys tomorrow.